Hey everybody, it's AK Pearl Films, and on this video, I'm going to teach you some dashboard tips and tricks. So, with no more further ado, let's jump right into this video right away. Alright, so to customize dashboard, you want to go into System Preferences, and you want to go to Mission Control under Personal. Mission Control, press on that. And then you'll see Show Dashboard as a space at the top. You can check and uncheck that if you want. So when it's unchecked, it'll have an animation like this, where you press on a keyboard shortcut, it'll open it up with a grayed out background, and all your widgets will appear on top. And I assigned a keyboard shortcut down here. And you can also show Dashboard as a space. So when you do a shortcut on your trackpad, you can do that and it'll open up this as a space. If you don't have a trackpad, you can easily just open up this and you can press on dashboard. So I'll just go back here. But I just find this really cool by not having it as a space and just showing up over my content. So let's say we want to have a web clip like this where I have my view count and my subscriber account. You can easily do that, do that by going to Safari and you can type in a web URL. I'll just go to CNN, and I'll go to tech. And let's say I want this on my dashboard, so I always know the headlines on CNN without loading CNN.com. You go up to Safari, File. You want to go to Open in Dashboard. And then you can choose the area on the web page that you want to add to dashboard. Then crop it out what section you want. And then just go over here to Add. And then this will load the clip onto your dashboard so you always know the headlines of a newspaper article or you always know what you want very easily and quickly. So let's say we want to add a different widget to our dashboard. You can press on the plus button over here and you can click it and it will appear on dashboard. So you can drag this around and do whatever you want. But let's say you want to remove this one and this one. You can press on the minus button and you can press on the X in the top left. So also, when you're in Dashboard and you have the web clip, you can press on the I down here, and you can customize the way it looks. So let's say we want this cool border effect. You can press on that and click Done. So then I'll have this cool little border, and you can do whatever you want, really. So just pressing that minus button, you can press the X, and it'll disappear. So these were just a couple of dashboard tips and tricks and how you can customize it a little bit more to your liking. If you found this video helpful, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And as well, go to akprofilms.weebly.com for more. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next videos.